you may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Whomever's not chosen should feel no shame. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Sir Royland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. God be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the small council, is it not? Lord Ethan should hear from all of us. Let Duncan speak. I'd like to hear what he has to say. Duncan? I'm sorry, Lord Ethan. You have chosen your sentinel. You should hear from him first. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall and make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is and have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Although Sir Royland may object, I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face. Lord to Lord. Ramsay Snow is no Lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my Lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. That's enough from you, Tuttle. Lord Ethan has spoken. Obey his command. I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. Forgive me, my lord, but you are far too young to be the lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate, and we will not offer our ironwood. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord. 
where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My lord, you have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet.